Welcome to Level Up Mechanics. My name is Chris, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a Miller Cat catalytic converter shield on a 2021 Toyota 4Runner Trail Edition. Now I know what you're thinking. The title of this video stated that it would be an OEM catalytic converter shield. So what's the catch here? Well, it turns out that Miller Cat is now part of Toyota's Associated Accessory Parts Program, which means that their Toyota-specific catalytic converter shields now have genuine Toyota part numbers. So technically, you now have the option to purchase a shield for your Toyota from a Toyota dealership, and you can pay to have it installed professionally by a Toyota technician. Of course, if you wish to save money and labor costs, you can always install the catalytic converter shield yourself. Most catalytic converter shields for Toyotas are direct bolt-on upgrades, which only require some basic hand tools and about an hour of your time. In addition to that, you can save even more money by purchasing your shield directly from Miller Cat and using the code LEVELUP5 to receive 5% off of your purchase in addition to the free shipping that Miller Cat provides their customers. Now, while installation steps do vary depending on your particular Toyota vehicle, I'm going to show you just how easy it can be done by installing a catalytic converter shield on this Toyota 4Runner as an example. To begin, I'm going to raise the front end of the 4Runner and set it on some six ton jack stands for safety. And then I'm going to quickly assemble the catalytic converter shield to get it ready for installation. Here you can see the crossbar on the driver side. Here is the crossbar on the passenger side. Here is the engine cover that we'll also be removing. It's held in by four 12 millimeter bolts, two in the back and then two kind of tucked up up front. We have the four 12 millimeter bolts for the passenger side crossbar and four 12 millimeter bolts over there for the driver side crossbar. So we need to remove all of this so we can install the catalytic converter shield into place. The next step is to put the catalytic converter shield into place. At the very front of the catalytic converter shield, you're gonna have this lip right here, and it needs to sit on top of the front cross member right here. An extra pair of hands can always help, or if you have a jack, you can use a jack to position the shield into place, and then we will install the crossbars back onto the vehicle. So now that we have the catalytic converter shield roughly in place, we'll install the crossbars again, and we're gonna replace one bolt on the back side of the crossbar and one bolt on the front side of the crossbar with the included security Torx bolts that Miller Cat provides just to add an extra layer of difficulty when trying to access the catalytic converters. Thank you. 
So there's one security Torx bolt. And now we'll add one to the front right here. Threading in by hand to make sure we're threading in correctly. And then we'll thread in the other crossbar on the passenger side. The last hardware we need to install is this uh, is this plate, and we'll install it onto the front cross member, and we'll take the extremely long bolts that are included with the hardware, and go through the outer holes on the cross member to thread up to the catalytic converter shield. This may take some wiggling in order to line everything up, so that's why. I have the shield loose so I can get the thread started by hand. Now we have the plate on and secured to the top portion of the catalytic converter shield which sits above the cross member. Now we can secure all of the bolts. We will be using the security Torx bits included with the kit and some 12 millimeter bolts. We'll tighten all these down and then we'll install the front engine undercover back onto the Forerunner. Definitely check out MillerCat's website to see what shield options are available for your Toyota and make sure to take advantage of the extra savings by using the code LEVELUP5 during the checkout process in order to save an additional 5% on your order. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future Toyota content and make sure to smash that like button and help this channel grow. I appreciate your time 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.